I was in, interested in insisting on the possibilities of understanding uh, electronic music techno as an architectural narrative of reclaiming the importance of the post-industrial landscape as one of the main cultural incubators, but not only in that sense, but as heritage, as an architectural heritage itself. My name is Juan Rincón. I'm a design principal at Taller Paralelo Arquitectos, based in Bogota, Colombia. I'm part of a design theory and pedagogy program at SIRC. My curatorial background is part of my architectural practice. We developed a project five years ago in a former textile factory. In the process of uh, making the project happen, convincing the city and the client, uh, we started doing art shows. So in a way, uh, the practice uh, sort of blended into a curatorial practice, the architectural practice, and that le led us to uh, design and produce and organize an art fair uh, that's been ongoing for seven years, in, both in Bogotá and in different cities in Colombia, in Mexico. And parallel to that art fair, uh, which is called Feria del Millón, I co-curate a new media show called uh, Voltaje. My most recent uh, exhibition I curated uh, is called Sweet Harmony, Rave Today, at the Saatchi Gallery in London. I made part of the curatorial team. I co-curated uh, this exhibition with uh, Philippe Adams, the director of the gallery, and uh, Kobe Prema. So in this exhibition, we included a broad range of artists and musicians, uh, artists from uh, Conrad Shawcross, uh, Tom Hunter. We had Liam Young as part of the exhibition, uh, and we had uh, musicians like Seth Troxler as part of the, um, of the whole show. I've had for some years now the idea of theorizing electronic music and understanding music as an architectural narrative. When I joined the theory and pedagogy program, I used this space to speculate around this idea, to further develop this idea from an architectural lens, from an academic lens, and in this sense to confront it with, with other architects, with other academics and so on. I've been quite interested in a while in uh, researching, studying the post-industrial landscape. I've been insisting on the thesis of uh, the post-industrial landscape as one of the main cultural incubators of the past uh, 50 years. So in that sense, I brought the architectural lens, I brought the importance of the post-industrial landscape to the rave scene, to the electronic music scene, but at the same time, parallel to, uh, to the curationship of, uh, of the show, my office in Bogota was assigned to uh, lay out and design the whole show. So I guess in that sense, I brought an architectural filter both to the narrative of the show, but at the same time to the layout of the show. Well, I think curating a show works very much in a similar path in uh, designing an architectural project. It requires a level of speculation, it requires a level of research, and in the same sense it requires a level of coordination between different actors that make the show happening. In this sense, uh, music and architecture made one of the main ideas of the show. So bringing in an architect or understanding the curationship of, a, of an art show sort of relies in the level of sensitivity of the architect, not only in the way the show is displayed, the way the show is laid out, but also in the possibilities that the architects bring uh, to coordinate and to sort of uh, integrate a different lens uh, apart from the merely artistic curatorial one. I feel my experience in the design theory and pedagogy program affected uh, deeply my influence in the show in the sense that in this program I had the possibility not only to research and to speculate around the ideas of the show but also to confront these ideas with people that were 
in a way external to the narrative. But at the beginning, I had to convince and I had to uh, write more about the text and I had to further elaborate the sort of theorizing on something which at a first glance is not very related to architecture, but I do strongly feel is an architectural narrative. The laying out of the show, a show that's happening at the Saatchi Gallery in London, co-curated by a person that was in LA and laid out by an office that was in Bogota. So the whole cycle around connecting these three parts for the show, I, I would say it was quite memorable. Also, I would uh, highlight the opening. The opening of the show, uh, we had around 4,000 people for the opening, uh, and the opening itself became a rave. You know, one of the rooms was a rave room, but it also brought a, a really broad range of people that were part of the scene, that recognized the different artists that were part of the show. And there was a sense of nostalgia during that opening. No? It was not only an opening with a lot of people, but everyone was kind of connected. To see that the opening was a sort of mimic, no? a replica of all the great things that motivated us to create a show uh, was quite memorable. Laying out your final project as a real-life project, a project that is now ongoing, you know, in a quite prestigious, important uh, gallery, and to be able to present uh, as, a, as a final product the show, I thought it was uh, quite interesting because it's a moment where pedagogy, studies, um, sort of met together with uh, professional practice. My initial ideas of understanding uh, electronic music, of understanding techno as uh, an architectural narrative have been fed uh, from my time here at SIRC, but especially from realizing the show, from being able to socialize the idea of that theory with other people around electronic music, around the scene, but also with artists and in that sense with architects. I feel my experience at DTP uh, was great. Uh, I really enjoyed the way the program has been laid out. I think it's a fantastic program. The program gives you a sort of breath, you know, to redefine your ideas, to speculate on new ideas. Although I had and interested in understanding and integrating electronic music to architecture, I have never had the space to do it, no, in a sense. And so, so the program is very exciting in that sense. I give you that space, no, and you, and you sort of have a trust on speculating on new ideas, on having a space to see uh, how you lay them out and in the way mutate them and making uh, different things.